from your view, um, what was your, what do you think were the issues offensively that about, that hurt you guys tonight? Offensively, mm, I don't know really. I just think that uh, Mike just got like a little stagnant. I think they did a good job of uh, emphasizing like uh, with our cuts. I know a lot of guys, at least with me specifically, like. I could tell uh, they were more emphasized with keeping the head on the swivel, keeping cuts out of there. And I think they did, they did a really good job officer rebound, so we didn't really get too many uh, second chance points. At least that's what it felt like. Um, and honestly, we got good looks, and some of them just didn't fall. You know what I mean? You could just tell it was just one of those nights that there was a lid on the basket, and sometimes that's how it goes. And that's why we got to rely more on the, on the defensive end on nights like this. Like you said, some, some nights the shots just aren't going to fall, but what Embiid was doing in the middle of the floor specifically, what, was his size deterring things that you want to do with the offense beyond just the cuts that you mentioned? Uh, for sure. I mean, obviously, he's like a, he's a big presence in there, so obviously you don't want to go in there and just four shots up. And uh, Typically, there's not too many fouls being called against him, you know, whenever he, whenever he is in the middle. So it's one of those tough things, especially as a driver, trying to put it up and, and, and make something happen in the middle. And, you know, when you got somebody like, as big as him, it's – He's got a knack for a steal blocking shots, even though he's really good on the offensive end. Um, sometimes it just makes it tough. So, um, yeah, like I said before, we but we also got good looks and we just didn't knock him down. So sometimes it's how it goes. Yeah, I suppose shifting around a lot of lineups to try and find a spark. Obviously, you're moving around a little bit. Just do you feel your role changes at all when the, when the subs are being made and you're kind of moving all around the place? Do you is it just similar, uh, no matter who comes in, or is, do things change? Uh. I don't think my role changes as much. I just think it's more just sometimes the minutes fluctuate. Sometimes uh, uh, my window that when I get thrown in there changes. And that's obviously is, that's going to happen when guys come back and uh, whenever you're trying to figure it out and, and put the pieces together. So, um, yeah, but like you said, there's going to be a lot of changes here and there. And it's going to be, it's going to continue to happen the more, the more guys we get back. So, um, I don't think the roles change as much. I just, you know, I, I got to bring, uh, you know, I always bring what I bring. So it don't matter if I'm in there 30 minutes or I'm in there three minutes, I'm going to come to do the same thing. Caleb, speaking of that and the energy and the, and the joy you play with so often, to see a guy like Bam so close and itchy to come back and traveling with you guys and being on the bench and being in huddles, how exciting is quote unquote Bam Day? That appears he's on the verge now of returning with you guys. I was just talking to him on the bench without that, like just how uh, how, how awesome of a day it's going to be just to have him back and you know let's see how like how lit the the arena is going to be to to see him back. So, um, but yeah, we were we were just talking about it. You could tell he's itching like bad. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I know I was itching after how many days I was out. So I know he's itching. So, um, but yeah, I was just talking to him about it uh, pregame about him ready to come back. So uh, obviously we're all ready for Bam to come back. All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank you all.